Well, we're here today to show you a couple things to do in the car, as well as to take Parent Taught Driver's Ed and show you safety, responsibility, and how to be a safe and responsible driver. Parent Taught Driver's Ed, I decided to do Parent Taught Driver's Ed for one reason, because I thought that the, the driving schools, as well as Parent Taught programs out there, were not showing enough things to help y'all do what you need to do to get from point A to point B. In my videos, what I try to do is I try to t show the parents how to teach the kids. I still own a driving school right now. And what I do is I have to take those, dr those driving instructors and teach them how to be better instructors to teach kids. So I decided since, with Parent Taught Driver's Ed, I decided since I got to teach my instructors, I might as well just take the parents and teach them too so they can make better, safe drivers. So at Parent Taught Driver's Ed, I'm going to show you how to go through the DPS work as well as show you how to do techniques on the road. I'm going to show you things that the student may do wrong and how to fix those things that you do at Parent Taught Driver's Ed. At Parent Taught Driver's Ed, I hope that you take this video, use the material that I've given you, and that it will help you become better, safe, and responsible drivers. The first drill that we're going to actually do is we're going to line the car up and you can either use a pole in the parking lot or you can use a cone if you want to go get a cone. You can get some, some cones uh, at a dollar store for like, you know, two or three dollars, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put the car here, okay? Assuming that this is your car. You're going to have an object that's on the ground, okay? And then you're going to have them pick an object way back here past this object and you're going to have them drive a straight line drill now the, you're going to drive straight to this object and stop two things that that does the first thing it does it helps you as the parent watch to see if they're going to weave the lane okay we don't want to see them we don't want to see them do this back and forth okay we want to see them to go straight for that the second thing it does it helps them get used to the brakes okay some kids are not used to abs brakes or different types of power brakes or so forth, okay? So that is the very first goal we're going to do when you get out of the parking lot, straight line drill. And I will show you this out when we go outside. Pick a line on the road. You're going to drive forward. As you drive forward, stop. Go forward again. Stop. And what that actually helps them do is get, and then they're going to back it up. Straight line drill. Okay, notice I got a little bit off the line there. I got a little bit off the line there, so that. Now that is the straight line drill. You do that straight line drill until they're perfectly, they got everything down that you need them to uh, be at. Make sure they can go forward, stop smoothly, and go from there. All right, the figure eight is done like this. You start at either cone or however you want to do it. And it's just like you see here, is we're going to do a figure eight. But there's certain points in which you're going to do certain stuff. Now, parents, you need to talk them through to this part, and I will show you that in the car when we're inside the car. But let me show you from the board here. The first thing they're going to do is they're actually going to give it, put it in drive and give it some gas where they go towards this. Now, once they get real close to the, the pole or cone or whatever you're using, you can imagine a, a dotted line here. They need to actually have their foot on what? The gas or the brake. You guessed it, that's right. They need to have their foot on the brake because they actually have to start slowing down. Now, at this point, they're gonna have their foot on the brake, slowing down. They're gonna do brake here. And actually, they're gonna actually have their foot covering the gas here. Okay, cover the gas here. So as the car here, they got brake, 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 now they're going to take their foot off the brake. They're going to coast here. They're going to coast at a certain speed. As they come around, okay, and when they line pretty much, and I'll show you this in the car, this is real hard. When they line the target up with this next pole, they're actually going to gas, letting the wheels slide through their hands 
and come back. One other thing that we did not talk about is how far these should be apart. They should be far, far enough apart anywhere from 100 to uh, maybe 50 yards, 100 feet to 50 yards, somewhere around there, a good distance so they can actually get some gasting dis distance in here. Now what I do with my teenagers in my driving school is what, what I do is I talk them through it. And, and the kids got to hear this so they, they know what their foot is. So what I tell them is they come in here, brake, 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 coast, 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 gas, let the wheel slide, keep on going, brake, 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 coast, 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 gas, and let the wheel slide. Now if you talk them through that, they'll get through this little part a little bit better. And that's pretty much how I do the figure eight drill. Now do this until they and you feel very comfortable on that. Remember, positive reinforcement, parents, positive reinforcement to the teens, okay? All right? Now, that is the, that is the first one. The first one we did is a straight line drill. Now we did a figure eight. The next one we're going to do is called a box. Now the box is very simple. You can do this in a wide open parking lot. You can do it where they have uh, little medians here where people can park and so forth. However you want to do it, it's totally up to you. But the whole goal of the box is to work a stopping turn and to work a rolling turn. Parents, what you're going to do here is you're going to start them on a box and you're going to go this way. I always like to go right turns first because usually the right turns are always the hardest to, to do. Now in each corner you're going to have stops here. Okay? In these opposite corners you're going to have rolls here. And they're going to treat these corners just like it was the figure eight. They're actually going to roll that turn. It's just like the same example as when you turn in your neighborhood and you've got streets in your neighborhood where you have a stop sign and you've got streets where, that you're going to turn onto that you don't have a stop sign. When they come up to this, is they're going to come down this little road right here. As they come down here, they're going to put on the blinker. Okay? When they put on the blinker, remember, when they put on the blinker, that is when they actually say the words mirror. And they're going to look in the mirror to see, check the traffic behind them. Obviously, there will be no traffic for them in the parking lot, but this is just a habit of getting them used to the commentary. Now, as they start to make the turn, they're going to look both ways, they're going to check both ways, and as they make their turn, they're going to say clear. Now, after they say clear, I do not want them to say anything while they're making their turn, while they're doing their hand over hand or the shuffle, however they wanted to do. So at that time, they're going to make their turn and go. Then the next time they come down here, they're going to come down to where they're actually going to make a stop. So they're going to put the blinker on early. They're going to make a stop. Remember, when they put the blinker on, they're going to say what? Good, that's good, right. They're going to say mirror. They're going to make a stop. They're going to look both ways. They're going to say clear, and then they're actually going to go. Okay? They'll make a turn there. This gets them used to a stop turn, and this gets them used to a, a rolling turn. Now, sometimes I find, find parking lots where they got a, uh, they got a parking lot where they actually can go out on the street here just a little bit and then go back in. That's okay. You can do that. All right? Just make sure the street is not a very busy street. So these are the three things that we're going to do in the parking lot. Now, I'll show you these in more in detail when we go out in the car. But this is pretty much the chalk talk that you want to sit down with your team and say, this is what we're going to try to accomplish. His eyes are already back at the other pole. Gas and head straight for the pole. Break, 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 break. No, don't stop. Hand over hand, look back for the other pole. Once he starts his hand over hand, that is when he does the pole. So he gases and break, 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 break. Hand over hand, hand over hand, hand over hand. Looking back for that other pole, looking back for that other pole, and we'll go from there. You come up, you get a blinker on, mirror. He stops, looks both ways, clear. And then he makes his turn. Now the next turn, we're actually going to roll it. We're not going to stop. So he's going to go, Mira, he doesn't have to say clear here because he's not stopping, and he's just going to roll it in. Our three goals that we're going to try to accomplish is we're going to try to accomplish good hand over hands, 
getting the steering wheel to slide through our hands and smooth stop turns and smooth rolling turns. This will help us. Now, I do not want you to leave the parking lot at least a minimum of 30 to 45 minutes in the parking lot before they go out, even on your very good drivers. At least do this, because the main thing that we want them to get used to is the commentary driving. Remember, parents, the commentary driving is to help you understand what the teen is thinking about. Let me just tell you a couple things that you may run into. Problems. Problems. The first problem you may run into is very fast turns. If the teen is having very fast, fast turns, they need to hit the brake and slow it down a lot quicker. You may have them, when they do the straight line drill, you may have them weaving in and out turns too wide. When they go around that pole or that cone, they may turn so wide that they're not, they're not getting their heads back looking at the pole. And I'll show you that in the car. And then obviously if you, uh, you're watching the foot, uh, the two feet, one, run, one doing the brake and one doing the gas, you want to watch that and make sure they don't do that. Remember, to get out of the parking lot, they must do good hand over hands, smooth turns, the way you would see them in everyday car situations, as well as good rolling turns. Once they get that down, then you can go to the next lesson, which is the neighborhood.